Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Maxwell Render Hot Tips, the show where you learn the little bits in Maxwell Render that might otherwise pass you by. In today's episode I'll be looking at how to put an object into the Maxwell Render library so you can quickly recall it anytime you need it. This is the scene that I'll be using today as a demo. This was a project of a Kodak Brownie for the London 2012 Olympics and it was a first year project, did really well. And if I turn on the fire engine and just zoom out slightly, you can see how the render is set up. You can see that the objects are just on a table surface which is just floating in free space. But when the camera is in the right position, it looks like they're just on a table. But if I want to use this table in different scenes without having to model it every single time, I can put it into the Maxwell Render library and import it into my scenes whenever I need to. And the first thing to do is to make sure that there's nothing else in this scene. So I have to go to my Objects Manager and delete everything else. So select the first object, scroll down, hold Shift, select the second object, right click, remove. OK, that was nice and easy. What I also need to do is clear up my materials, so right click in the Materials Manager and select Remove Unused. This will get rid of all the materials in the scene which aren't being used. Then I need to turn off my environment, but before I can do that I need to turn off Fire, because otherwise Fire will complain when I turn off my environment settings. So once Fire is turned off, set the environment to None. And also I'm going to delete my cameras. So select all the cameras, right click, Delete. If it zooms out like this, then just right click in the viewport and select Center Scene. Now you can see at the moment that the table isn't actually in the middle of the scene, so what I'm going to do is select the table in the Objects Manager, go to my Object Parameters and select Position X, set to 0, Tab, 0, Tab, 0. So I know that definitely now this table is in the middle of the scene. Then I need to save this file in a very specific place. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and then I'm going to save it as Table, and this is going to be an MXS file, and then it needs to go in the Maxwell Application folder, and then the Library folder. I'm also going to put it in the Objects folder just for convenience. In Mac OS X, this will be in Applications and Maxwell. In Windows, it's Program Files, Next Limit, then Maxwell. And then just save that file. And in order for the object to show up in the library, you need to restart Maxwell. So here I am, I've restarted Studio, and if I go to File, Library, Objects, here I can see is my table. And if I click on it, I can either import it or I can open it. And if I import it, here you can see it is in my scene. And that's your hot tip for today. How to save an MXS scene file in the Maxwell Render library so you can import it or open it anytime you need from within Maxwell Studio itself. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video if you can. Any questions or comments, email me at maxwellrenderbrightontdc at gmail.com or tweet me at jcolman underscore design. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.